All the features of optic tract lesions can be remembered easily by the following mnemonic. He rapidly visualized the colorful half band of a pale arcuate bear. Weird as it sounds, each of the words here will help in remembering the signs easily. All the examples in this video are those of a left optic tract lesion. He stands for hemianopia. In an optic tract lesion, it is homonymous and contralateral to the side of the lesion. In addition, though a complete hemianopia can occur, tract lesions generally tend to be highly incongruous. This picture shows an incongruent right homonymous hemianopia due to a left optic tract lesion. Rapidly stands for RAPD. The optic tract always has a greater proportion of nasal crossed fibers, that is 53%. Because of this inequality in pupillar motor input, the RAPD is always seen on the side of the greater field loss, which is usually the temporal field and therefore of the contralateral eye. This is true for a pure tract lesion. If, however, there is an associated chiasm or optic nerve lesion causing diminished vision, then the RAPD would be ipsilateral to the lesion. Visualized represents visual acuity. A pure optic tract lesion has normal vision. Colorful represents color vision, which again is normal. Half represents vernix hemianopic pupil, one which reacts more briskly to light projected from within the intact hemifield than to light within the abnormal field. Band represents band or bow tie atrophy of the contralateral optic disc that occurs in chronic tract lesions. This is explained by the pattern of nerve fiber arrangement in the retina. The crossing nasal fibers in the left optic tract come from the nasal retina and from the nasal aspect of the macula in the right eye. This results in the horizontal band shaped pallor of the contralateral eye. Pale stands for generalized or temporal pallor in the optic disc ipsilateral to the lesion, though occasionally a vertical bow tie atrophy may occur. Arcuate stands for a severe loss of nerve fiber layer details in the superior and infu inferior arcuate regions of the ipsilateral disc. This is because of the temporal uh, retinal ipsilateral uncrossed fibers entering the optic disc at the poles. And finally, the bear stands for bare pupil, that is a larger pupil contralateral to the side of the lesion. Wernick's hemianopic reaction and bare pupil are not common or difficult to demonstrate. So for practical purposes, the following are the hallmarks of optic tract lesions. Homonymous hemianopia with a contralateral RAPD in the presence of normal visual acuity and color vision. If you like this video, you may show your appreciation by making a small contribution to help support the channel. Here below the video window, click on Super Thanks. Choose the amount you would like to contribute and then click Buy and Send to complete the transaction. Thank you.